Dr. B. R. Ambedkar once said, "The cultivation of the human mind should be the ultimate aim of human existence." I would like to welcome Mr. Hemant Vivedi, the first secretary of the Indian Embassy Doha, Principal Ms. Asna Nafees, Vice Principals, Headmistress, Teachers, proud parents, and the stars of today's evening, the participants. Good evening to one and all. With a sense of immense pride, I consider. This to be my privilege to welcome all of you to the inter-school quiz competition on the Indian Constitution and its core values. The quiz will cover various questions on the Indian Constitution, its core values, its drafting committee, and the father of the Indian Constitution, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. We look forward to having a wonderful session and learning something new this evening. Over to Sneha for the round rules. Thank you, Sparsh. In today's event, we will be having four rounds, the round rules of which have already been sent to schools earlier. I will be repeating the round rules before every round. Each team will be able to score up to three hundred points in these four rounds. So, without any further ado, let's begin the quiz. The first round will be the quest round. The time allotted for each question to each student will be 20 seconds. Total time for this round per school shall be 40 seconds. Separate set of questions will be asked to each participant. Each correct answer will be awarded 50 points. Total number of questions asked in this round to each school will be 2. Maximum points that can be scored in this round will be 100 points. Teams kindly note this will be a non-transferable round. Now I would like to hand over to Manogna. Thank you, Sneha. Team one, Shantini Ketan, the first participant. You are requested to unmute your mic and switch on your camera. And your question is: Which word of constitutional importance owes its origin to a Latin word which meant "walking before"? And your time starts now. I am sorry, your time is up. The correct answer is the preamble. Moving on to the second participant of Team One, you are requested to unmute your mic and switch on your camera. Second participant of Team One. Mohammad Mepsal. Yeah. Yeah. And your question is: Dinarath Bhargav was selected by Nandilal Bose for a special project and was asked to travel from Shantiniketan to the Kolkata Zoo, about hundred kilometers away, to study lions, their mannerism, body language, etc. Why was he given this task? And your time starts now. Make the Ashoka Chakra. Can you please repeat the answer? To design the Ashoka Chakra. The correct answer is to sketch the national emblem. The national emblem is Ashoka Chakra. Yes. So you have been awarded fifty points for your answer. Moving on, Team Two, first participant. MES Indian School you are requested to unmute your mic and switch on your camera Team 2 first participant Yes 
Yes, I've done so. Um, and your question is? Which article yes, of Indian Constitution question. confers on all children in the age group of 6 to 14 years the right to free and compulsory education? And your time starts now. Article 14. Article I'm 14. sorry, that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is Article 21A. You have been awarded zero points for your answer. Moving on to the second participant of team two, you're kindly requested to unmute your mic and switch on your camera. Yes. I am unable to see you, Krishnendu. Are you able to see me? No. Team two, second participant. Are you still unable to see me? I'm unable to see you. Hello. Team two, second participant. Hello. Can you have to uh, check your shutter camera shutter option. Yes. Whether it is closed. How do I check that? Camera option is there. No, please check whether you have closed it by mistake. That's why you're getting it fully black. Please check that. Yeah, are you able to see me? I'm unable to see you. Ma'am, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, but we're unable to see you. Actually, I'm unable to see you. See you too. Ma'am, is it okay if I leave and join again? So, ma'am, ma can you guide? Aditi, ma'am? Yes, ma'am. May I speak here? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, child, you may leave and join again. Okay, we will wait at this point of time. Okay, quickly yes, leave the platform right. and join again. Yeah, yes. We will be at this stage only. Ma'am, are you able to see me now? Yes, you're visible and audible. Okay, so the question for the second participant of team two. A famous writing of Mr. B.R. Ambedkar, based on his experiences in school is no peon, no dash. And your time starts now. The answer is what? No pure, no water. That is the correct answer. And you have been awarded complete 50 points for your answer. Moving on to team three. The first participant of team three, TPS Modern Indian School. You're requested to unmute your mic and switch on your camera. 
Yes, I've done that. Okay, and your question is, to write the constitution in calligraphy style, Mr. Prem Bihari Narain Raizada was allotted a room in the constitution hall that later came to be known as Dash. And your time starts now. The time is up and the correct answer is Constitution Club. Moving on to the second participant of team three. You're requested to unmute your mic and switch on your camera. And, that. Um, and your question is, who was the chairman of the first session of the Constituent Assembly held on 9 December 1946? And your time starts now. Is it Rajendra Prasad? Is Dr. Rajendra Prasad, right? I am sorry, that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is Sachidananda Sinha. Moving on to team four, that is Noble International School. The first participant, you're requested to unmute your mic and switch on your camera. And your question is, India adopted this program from Joseph Stalin's Soviet Union in 1951. It finally came to an end in 2017 after its dissolution was announced in 2014 after complete, completing 12 terms. What program is being referred here? And your time starts now. I'm sorry, can you repeat your answer? Idea plan. That is the correct answer. You have been awarded 50 points for your answer. Moving on to the second participant of team four. You're requested to kindly unmute your mic and switch on your camera. Yes. And your question is, this constitutional body acts under the authority of Indian constitution as per article 324 and it enacted the Representation of the People Act, formed one day before India became Republic in 1950. Which constitutional authority is being referred here? And your time starts now. Is it about the power of the president? I am sorry, that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is Election Commission of India. Over to Sneha for the round scores. Thank you, Manogna. Now, I would like to tell you an interesting fact about, our, about the Indian constitution. The Indian constitution was originally written in Hindi and English, and the English version has 1,17,369 words. Now, let's have a look on the scoreboard. Team one has scored zero points. Team two has scored 50 points. Team three has scored zero points. And team four has scored 50 points. I would just like to make this clear that the points that were awarded to team one second participant will not be considered as the answer was national emblem, not the Ashoka Chakra. Now we'll be moving on towards round two, the picture based round.
The rules for the rounds are the time allotted for each question will be 30 seconds. Each question will carry 50 points. Total number of questions asked per team would be one. Only the nominated participant shall answer the question. Maximum points that can be scored in this round will be 50 points. Teams kindly note, this will be a non-transferable round. Now, I would like to hand over to Soumya. Thank you, Sneha. Now we will be moving on to round two, which is a picture-based round. The first question is for team one. May I please request the nominated participant to unmute themselves and turn on their camera? Your question is as follows. One minute, one minute. Is it Abhishek or the Miss Fun who is nominated for second round? I am for picture, please. Um, I think it should be Abhishek for round two. When we asked you, you, you mentioned Abhishek for the second round. Because in the circular, the second round was mixed round. Okay, anyways, you will take this round, right? Picture based round. Yeah. Can the nominated participant for the picture based round please turn on the camera and unmute themselves? Um, Shanti Niketan Indian School is the nominated participant Abhishek. No. Okay then. Your question is as follows. The picture depicts a Satyagraha of 1927, which was one of the defining moments in Ambedkar's political thought and action. Name the Satyagraha. And your time starts now. I'm sorry, but your time is now up. The correct answer to this question is the Mahat Satyagraha. You are awarded zero points for this question. The next question is for team two. May I please request the nominated participant to unmute themselves and turn on their camera? Yes. Your question is as follows. Identify the person in the picture and your time starts now. Is it Nandalal Bose? Can you please give me your final answer? Nandalal Bose. Yes, that is the correct answer. The correct answer to this question is Nandalal Bose. You are awarded full 50 points for this question. The next question is for team three. May I please request the nominated participant to turn on their camera and unmute themselves? Yes, I'm, I've done that. Thank you. Your question is as follows. What is depicted or symbolized in this gold and black page of our Indian constitution? And your time starts now. The Ajanta, uh, the Ajanta murals. I'm sorry, but that is the wrong answer. The correct answer to this question is flower wreaths, which were dedicated to the martyrs of the freedom movement. The next question is for team four. May I please request the nominated participant to turn on their camera and unmute themselves.
Yes. Your question is as follows. <laughs> Identify the place shown in the background of the stamp issued in the name of Mr. B. R. Ambedkar. Your time starts now. <laughs> Is it the parliament? I'm sorry, that is the incorrect answer. The correct answer to this question is Diksha Bhumi Nagpur. I'm sorry to say, but you're, award, uh, you're awarded zero points for this question. Over to Sneha for the scores. Thank you, Somya. While the scores are being tallied, let me tell you another interesting fact about the Indian constitution. Our constitution was handwritten by Prem Bihari Narayan, and there were about 2,000 amendments that were made to the first draft. And the scores are team one with zero points, team two with 50 points, team three with zero points, and team four with zero points. Now we'll be moving on towards the third round. The third round is the category round. This will be a, this will be a choice based round. A category once chosen should not be available to the other teams for choice. The time allotted for each question will be 30 seconds. Each question will carry 50 points. Total number of questions asked per team would be one. Maximum points that can be scored in the round will be 50 points. Teams kindly note, this will be a non-transferable round. Before we move on to the categories, we have an interesting way to assign them. In my hand here, I have four colored chits with numbers one, two, three, and four. And I will ask each team to choose a colored chit. The number that is mentioned inside it will be the sequence in which these teams will choose their categories. May I please request the team one to please choose a color from red, green, blue, and yellow. Red. In the red chit, we have the number four. So you will be fourth in the order to choosing the category. Okay. Team two, may I please know your choice of color? It will be green. Team two, you will be going second in order to choosing the category. Team three, may I please know your color? Um, yellow. Team three, you will be going third in the order. And the last chit, that is blue chit, team four will be going first in order to choose the category. Now, I would like to hand over to Manobhi. Thank you, Sneha. So according to the selection, we have team four who can choose the topic first. So the nominated participant of team four kindly unmute your mic and switch on your camera and you're requested to choose your topic. Drafting committee. Drafting committee. You have chosen the topic drafting committee. And your question is. He was the prime minister of Jammu and Kashmir from 1937 to 1943. He was given the title of Divan Bahadur, the highest title awarded by a British viceroy, a key member of the drafting committee of the Indian constitution. 
identify the person and your time starts now. Is it M MC? Can you please repeat your answer? MK Munshi. I am sorry, that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is Sir Narasimha Ayangar Gopal Swami Ayangar. Unfortunately, you have been awarded zero points for this question. So we have team two selecting the next topic. The nominated participant of team two, you're requested to unmute your mic and switch on your camera. Please yes, choose I your topic. So. Uh, I would like to choose B.R. Ambedkar. You have chosen the topic B.R. Ambedkar. And your question is, Mr. B. R. Ambedkar, in his book, Thoughts on Linguistic States, wrote, the number of places into which a state with people speaking one language should be divided into and should depend upon. Number one, the requirements of efficient administration. Number two, the, the needs of the different areas. Number three, the sentiments of the different areas. And number four, the proportion between the majority and minority. In the quote mentioned, Mr. Ambedkar was mentioning the split of two states. Identify the states referred here. And your time starts now. I'm sorry, that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is Bihar and Madhya Pradesh. Unfortunately, you have been awarded zero points for your answer. Moving on, the nominated participant of team three, you're requested to unmute your mic and switch on your camera. I've done that. So please select your topic. I will choose fundamental duties. Fundamental duties. And your question is, which of the following statements is or are true about the fundamental duties of an Indian citizen? Number one, a legislative process has been provided to enforce these duties. And number two, they are correlative to legal duties. And your time starts now. Yes, it's on uh, number two is correct. Like number one is false. I am sorry, that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is neither one nor two. Unfortunately, you have been awarded zero points for this this answer. Moving on, team one, the nominated participant of team one, you're requested to unmute your mic and switch on your camera. Okay. Please select your topic. Indian Constitution. So you have chosen the topic Indian Constitution. And your question is, many pages of our Indian Constitution are embellished with the stylized decorative borders, headers, and backdrops. The pattern in the borders and on the covers embossed in gold on leather are reminiscent of the murals in which UNESCO heritage site and your options are option A, Bhimbetka Caves, option B, Ajanta Caves, option C, Khajurao Caves, and option D, Pattadakal Caves. And your time starts now. I am 
sorry, that is the wrong answer. The correct answer is option B, Ajanta Caves. You have been awarded zero points for your answer. Over to Sneha for the round scores. Thank you, Manogna. While the scores for the round three are being tallied, I would like to tell another interesting fact about the Indian Constitution. The Indian Constitution preamble was actually inspired by the preamble of the Constitution of the United States of America. Now we'll be moving on towards the scores. Team one scored zero points. Team two scored zero points. Team three scored zero points. And team four scored zero points. Now we'll be moving on towards round four. Round four is a rapid fire round. The rules for the round are, this will be a rapid fire round. Each correct answer awards the team with 10 points and a team can score a maximum of 100 points in this round. Each student will be asked five questions in 40 seconds. If the team does not know the answer, the team can proceed further with the other questions and later come back to the un unanswered questions. If time permits, this will be a non-transferable round again. Now, I would like to hand over to Somya. Thank you, Sneha. Now we will be moving on to the rapid fire round. May I please request the, no uh, the first participant from team one to unmute themselves and turn on their camera. Thank you. Your rapid fire round is as follows. One signature which is not there in the constitution of India is that of? Yes. You can pass on the next question. DPSP. What have you borrowed? What have you borrowed from the Irish constitution? DPSP. Could you please repeat yourself? DPSP. The original constitution was divided into how many parts? 22 parts. Correct. The task of writing the Indian constitution in calligraphic style was completed in how much time? You can pass it on. As of January 2020, Indian constitution has undergone how many amendments? 104. I'm sorry, but your time is now up. Um, we will now see the correct answers to these questions. Thank you. Now we will move on to the second participant of team one. May I please request you to turn on your camera and unmute yourself. Your rapid fire round goes as follows. The preamble of Indian constitution talks about promoting which concept? Uh, integrity of fraternity. Correct. Before before the constitution was finalized, how many amendments were done to the first draft? Uh, you can pass uh, it on. Correct. Mr. Biyana Mitka was greatly inspired by whom for his work on democracy? Um, you can pass it on. Swaran Singh committee recommendations resulted in the formulation of? Uh, Swaran Singh. Has the term federation been used in the constitution, yes or no? Uh, yes. No. Incorrect. No, no. We will now see the answers to these questions. Thank you, team one. We will now be moving on to team two. May I please request the first participant to turn on the camera and unmute themselves. Uh, yes, I've done so. Thank you. Your rapid fire round goes as follows. Separation of the judiciary from the executive has been provided in which part of the Indian constitution? Uh, next. 
in consideration of the quantum of amendments which amendment is also known as a mini constitution uh, 42 correct dr pr ambedkar the father of the indian constitution considers which article as a heart and soul of the indian constitution article 348 incorrect which pose did ambedkar occupy on the maharaja of baroda the next who administers the oath of office to the president of india before entering to office uh the separation of the judiciary incorrect your time is now up we will now see the correct answers to these questions thank you now we will be moving on to the second participant for team 2 may i please request you to turn on your camera and unmute yourself yes i have done so thank you your rapid fire round goes as follows Where did Mr. B. R. Ambedkar become the professor in law college? Nineteen forty-seven. Incorrect. How many women were there in the Constituent Assembly which drafted the Indian Constitution? Fifteen. Correct. The Constitution of India replaced which act to be enacted in nineteen fifty? You can pass it on. Pass it on. What was Mr. B. R. Ambedkar's original surname? Bimla Ramji Ambedkar. Incorrect. Which is the only state in India that has a uniform civil code? You can. Your time is now up. We will now see the correct answers to these questions. Thank you, Team Two. We will now be moving on to Team Three. May I request the first participant of Team Three to turn on their camera and unmute themselves? Yes, I've done so. Thank you very much. Your rapid fire round goes as follows. Between whom did the Pune Pact take place? Between B. R. Ambedkar and Mahatma Gandhi. Incorrect. The original constitution document was signed by how many members of the parliament? Twenty-four. Correct. The Indian Constitution was enforced on twenty-six January nineteen fifty. The same day came to be known as Samvidhan Divas. Correct. No, uh, Re no, Republic Day. Republic Day. I'm sorry, but I'll have to take your first answer, which is incorrect. Recently, under which article, Supreme Court declared the right to privacy as a fundamental right? Article thirty-one. Incorrect. Who is known as the guardian of the Constitution? Pass. Your time is now up. We will now see the correct answers to these questions. Thank you. Now we I may I request the second participant of Team Three to turn on the camera and unmute themselves. Done so. Thank you. Your rapid fire round goes as follows. What is the name of the memorial at B. R. Ambedkar's resting place? Pass. The idea of single citizenship is taken from which country? Britain. Correct. Who first signed the Indian Constitution? B. R. Ambedkar. Incorrect. Who is a famous writer of introduction to the Constitution of India? Pass. How many official languages there according to the Indian Constitution? Twenty-two. Correct. What is the name of the memorial at B. R. Ambedkar's resting place? Pass. Who is a famous writer of introduction to the Constitution of India? Okay, I don't know. Pass. What is the name of the memorial at Dr. B. R. Ambedkar's resting place? I'm sorry, but your time yeah. is now up. Okay. we will now be seeing the correct answers to these questions thank you team 3 we will now be moving on to team 4 may i please request the first participant of team 4 to turn on their camera and switch on their mic then thank you your rapid fire round goes as follows before converting himself to buddhism ambedkar considered converting to another religion which was it Buddhism. Correct. The page of the preamble, along with the other pages of the constitution, were designed and decorated by. You can pass it. Pass. When was Hindi pass. declared the official language of India? Pass. What is the constitutional name of India? Pass. Who responsible Dr. Ambedkar for his postgraduate education in the New York at Columbia University? Maharaja of Baroda. Correct. The page of the preamble, along with the other pages of the constitution, were designed and decorated by. When was Hindi declared the official language of India? I'm sorry, but your time is now up. We will now see the correct answers to these questions. 
Thank you. May I please request the second participant of team four to turn on their camera and unmute themselves? Yes, I'm done. Thank you. Your rapid fire round goes as follows. What was the name of the second thesis of Mr. B.R. Ambedkar? Us. Which committee advocated the fundamental duties in the Indian constitution? You can pass it on. Pass. Who was the last person to sign the constitution of India? Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. Incorrect. The concept of five-year plans in India was taken from which country? You can pass it on. Pass. Who is the constitutional head of the Indian Union? President. Correct. What was the name of the second thesis of Mr. B.R. Ambedkar? Pass. Which committee advocated the fundamental duties in the Indian Constitution? I'm sorry, but your time is now up. We will now see the correct answers to these questions. With this, now we come to an end for the last round, the rapid fire round. Over to Sneha for the scores. Thank you. Thank you, Soumya. Now let us have the look on the scoreboard. Team one is at 20 points. Team two is at 20 points. Team three is at 30 points. And team four is at 30 points as well. Before the final scoreboard is displayed, we will be watching a short video on the making of the Indian constitution. Now, let us have a look on the final scoreboard. While the final scores get tallied, let me tell you a fact about Dr. B.R. Ambedkar. He was the one who pushed, hard code, uh, who pushed hard for the Hindu Code Bill in the Parliament. The bill was meant to give equal rights to women in matters of marriage and inheritance. When the bill could not get passed, he put his papers as a law minister. Now I would like to ask a few teammates on how they prepared for this quiz. Is there anyone willingly to speak?
Team two, can we know how you prepared for your quiz? We referred a few books and uh, we browsed through Google and we received help from our teachers as well. That was that was it basically. Yes, even I was reading newspapers nowadays just to get in a bit, um, bit more knowledge about the constitutions as well. Team three, would you like to tell us how you prepared for the quiz? Since this is the second year of uh, the conducting of this quiz, uh, we referred the previous documents that we were sent uh, last year. And we also referred uh, Google. And uh, I used um, Shastra, I used um, the yearbook of 2020 and 2019. And yeah, that's how we prepared for the constitution quiz. Did your team get to know a lot more stuff, a lot more uh, knowledge from yes. this quiz? Yes, it was very enlightening. and. Um, I'm really looking forward to more, uh, more such quizzes, you know, in the upcoming years as well. Okay, now we'll be having a look on the final scorebook. The final scoreboard of uh, the the scoreboard for round four looks like this. Team one has scored for twenty points. Team two has scored one hundred and twenty points. Team three has scored 40 points and team four has scored 80 points in total. Now, the moment that we all have been waiting for, the final result for the inter-school quiz contest Can we have the final positions for the quiz? We are just tallying the score, ma'am. Just wait for a minute, ma'am. Till then, can we know from team one how they prepared for the quiz? Um, we had some sessions with our teachers in the Google Meet. They uh, gave us some questions. And then the last year's uh, quiz, we just went through that as well. And yeah, we browsed through the Google, had some more uh, talks, and then uh, even including the teachers' quiz uh, participants, we all gathered together and prepared. Yeah, so that's how we did. That's great. I'm sure all of us learned a lot from this quiz, as we saw that there were many questions that we were never heard about before. And the final positions are here. The second runner up is DPS Modern Indian School. The first runner up is Noble International School. 
And the winner for this quiz is MES Indian School. Congratulations to all the teams. We hope all of you learned a lot, a lot of knowledge and gained a lot more than you came from. Now I would like to request Ms. Asna Ma'am to please speak a few words. Thank you, Sneha. Ms. Soma Bhattacharya, Ms. Mary Cruz, Ms. Shifa, the Vice Principals of the School, Ms. Sini, Ms. Aditi, the Quiz Coordinator, uh, all, uh, Ms. Preeti, the Activity Coordinator, the student leaders who have led the event this after evening, all the participants, principals of various schools, managements of various schools, a very good evening. A very good evening to the members of the embassy who have entrusted us with this event. I have been through with this session throughout. It was a very short notice, at very short notice that our team has been able to handle this entire quiz. Many congratulations to all involved, especially to the students for the effort that you have put in, in understanding our country's constitution. Well done, all the teams that have been able to make it to the final round and to the winners. Congratulations. And once again, we look forward to such events in the future so that we remain connected to our roots. Thank you and good evening. Thank you, ma'am, for those knowledgeable words. Now, I would like to, I would like to inform to all the students in schools that the e -cert, that certificates will be issued by the embassy and will be sent to your schools. Now over to Sparsh for the word of thanks. On behalf of DPS Modern Indian School Doha, I, Sparsh Chaudhary, consider it my privilege to propose vote of thanks on this special occasion. Today's event was in honor of the Indian Constitution Day and the father of the Indian Constitution Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. I would like to thank the Indian Embassy in Qatar for giving us this opportunity. I would also like to express my gratitude to the First Secretary of the Indian Embassy Doha, Mr. Heman Vivedi, for taking time out of his busy schedule and gracing the occasion with his presence. I would like to express my gratitude to the management of DPSMIS Doha for their continued moral support. I would like to thank our pillar of support, Principal Ms. Asna Nafiz, for the relentless support she had extended to us. I would like to take this opportunity to thank our Vice Principals and our Headmistress for their guidance and motivation. I would like to thank the Quiz Club in charge, Ms. Aditi Ma'am, for her overall coordination and support. Ladies and gentlemen, an event like this cannot happen overnight. The wheels started rolling days ago. I would like to thank the teachers, Ms. Nimi Ma'am, Ms. Arifa Ma'am, Ms. Bina Ma'am, Ms. Shahida Ma'am, Ms. Reshma Ma'am, our activity coordinator, Ms. Preeti Modi Ma'am, and our social studies HOD, Ms. Jayanti Ma'am, for their planning and support. Last but not the least, I would like to thank all teachers and parents for encouraging and supporting their children to take part in this event. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Stay safe, stay healthy, practice social distancing, and have a wonderful evening ahead.